Hey, ¿qué tal familia? My name is Benito. I'm a permaculture practitioner here in Orange County. Today I want to show you a project located here on the Akchemin lands, uh, which encompasses what is also known today as San Juan Capistrano. We came up on a property that had a grass lawn, zero productivity, no ecological value was coming out of this landscape. But these homeowners knew better than to just perpetuate those ecologically degrading practices. They reached out to the team at Elemental Designs and we helped them put their ideas into practice. Let's go check it out. We start this process by analyzing how much water does this space really receive on its own with rainfall or gray water that can be recycled into the landscape. And here's an example of a reconfigured downspout that takes this small roof section and the water it accumulates and we are depositing it into the landscape in the form of a retention basin. So that downspout runs across the yard and through this pop-up drain to saturate this retention basin that all of the native plants around here can eventually tap into for a sustainable water source. We have the same kind of downspout configuration over here, but we beautified this retention basin to look more like a dry riverbed. When it does rain, this roof space deposits all of its water through this downspout under the trail into the pop-up drain and fills this whole dry riverbed with water. Once it's full, it overflows into our main retention basin. But meanwhile, it's bringing water from one side of the yard to the opposite end of the yard and infiltrating the space with hydration all along the way. The washing machine is the easiest gray water source in almost everybody's house. We simply ran a pipe from that machine into the landscape and strategically placed those emitters where they would be utilized by our most water hungry plants, which are our fruit trees. So this freshly planted garden will eventually fill in. You can see the valve box in front of me that is emitting water every time a load of laundry is done. And then we have a papaya and an avocado tree planted next to this retention basin and as their roots grow, they will tap into that water source for long-term sustainability. We have some existing fruit trees and we added some more along this side of the property and we wanna be mindful about our water use. We wanna grow these fruits as sustainably as possible, but we do have plans for a rain tank. This backyard roof section is our largest single catchment area. It's about 1,155 square feet and it's gonna displace over 700 gallons of water in just one inch of rain. So over the course of a whole year, we're talking about 9,225 gallons of water that are displaced by this single roof section. If we can get that 3,000 gallon tank in this backyard, it's gonna provide a sustainable free water source for these seven fruit trees from May to August, maybe even stretch it to October, depending if we get some rain events throughout the summer. That is how we should be growing our fruit trees and food forests in this arid Southern California bioregion. Another unique element about this project is this large window space behind me that's eventually going to be a huge sliding glass door. And two ways we incorporate advantages of the landscape to benefit the inside of the house is by having a large deciduous shade tree in front of the house. It's gonna shade this large glass window in the summer. It's gonna lose all of its leaves in the fall and open that canopy to let sunshine in when we need it. That's an example of how we use the landscape to maximize the efficiency of heating or cooling inside the house. Another element that we wanted to keep into mind was privacy. And so we went ahead and added a series of tall growing screening evergreen plants that are also native to our bioregion and are gonna produce all of those ecological enrichment advantages that we love while also providing that privacy function in the landscape. The main focus of this landscape is having a nice shady chill area for the family to hang out. So we have three pathways 
coming from a future sliding door, the front entrance, and the driveway that lead us into the shady area. All the remaining space is planted. So as per our original vision of creating a densely forested area sustainably that's going to provide us with food, that's going to provide us with shade and beauty, we planted two arroyo willows on either side of our pathways here that are fast growing. They're quickly going to tap into the gray water and ray water sources that are provided adjacent to them. And they're quickly going to grow an amazing shade canopy where they will combine in the landscape and fill in this whole center area with a big radial green semi-deciduous canopy that's gonna look amazing and give you that seasonal feel. So this is your friendly reminder that abundance is a mindset and we can have the best of both worlds. We can create a beautiful landscape that is also productive and sustainable, not just enriching to ourselves, but the whole ecosystem around us. So reach out to Elemental Designs if something like this makes sense to you and you can see some of these principles and practices fitting into your own landscape and lifestyle. Peace world. <laughs>